Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors, and I want to show you something about a bad water pump. Now, we've done a water pump video already and showed you a bunch of stuff about water pumps, but I just checked the compression on this car in front of me, uh, uh, 76 MGB, um, gosh, uh, 10 minutes ago. And we're just about ready to upload that onto YouTube, and I thought, ah, here's a perfect opportunity to show a bad water pump. Now, when we were running this car, it sounded like there was a bunch of gravel caught in a bearing in the front of the car. And that could only be the engine, the water pump, or the alternator. It's never the engine, it's never the alternator, it's always the water pump. It sounds real gravelly. Here's what happens. Uh, Danny's going to come in on this. You can see how this, how this moves here. Okay, as the bearing fails, and that means that you can wo wobble the, the uh, fan in the front. So I'm going to climb up here, and Danny's going to take a look down on here, so maybe you can see this, but can you hear that? Can you see that shake? Anyway, it's not leaking. It's going to leak sometime, but it isn't leaking now but it wobbles back and forth. And when we start it, it sounds like there's gravel. So the things that go wrong with a water pump, they leak, they may run absolutely absolutely fine, no wobbling, no anything, they just leak, so obviously they're bad. And it may be that they leak and they're bad, I mean the bearings are bad, and it may be that just the bearings are bad, and that's the case here. It doesn't leak, but the bearings are bad, so it's going to leak pretty soon. Worse come to worse, you know, with a, with a car that's got a radiator too close, fan turns, catches the radiator, that's always nasty. Um, anyway, this is a two-hour project to change because the radiator's got to come out and fiddle around with all the coolant and everything. Anyway, that's, uh, that's all it is. I just wanted to show you a faulty water pump on the car. See you guys later.